in this video, I'm going to show you how to use a rating bar and get the value from it in Android Studio. For instance, we have five stars or we have two stars or even two and a half stars. And when we click submit, we get a value of 2.5. Or if we have one star or even 1.5 stars, we get the value of 1.5. So to do this, we're going to work with two files. We're going to find our files both under the app category here. First one is under Java and then your package name, main activity. We also have one under res or resources, layout, and then activity main. So let's work on our activity main first because that's the layout. So we can see what it looks like as we're building the backbone code for it. First, we're gonna need a rating bar. You can just drag that on from the rating bar on the side here, or we can do it in the text, which is how I prefer to do it. So we have a rating bar and we need to set an ID for it. I called it rating rating bar. I know that's kind of counterproductive, but as long as you know what you named it, it should be fine. Uh, I did make the number of stars five. You can go as many as you want, I believe, but five is good enough for me right now. Step size, which is like the increment of, you know, do you want one star and then two, or do you want 0.5, one, 1.5, that type of thing. So I want 0.5, but we can do, uh, I guess, one for the purpose of this tutorial. We're also going to need to add a button. Again, we can go in here and select button and drag it onto our activity or just type it out. I set the text of the button to submit. That seemed pretty fitting to me. And I also set the ID to submit button. And then finally, we're going to need to grab a text view and throw it on our activity. I set the value of the text view to your rating will appear here. The user will only see this at the very beginning. Once this button has been clicked, this will disappear. So basically, we set the ID of it to rating display text view. And that's really all we need from this activity or this layout file rather. Next, let's go to our main activity, which is under our package name. We're going to need to add a few things. First thing, we're going to need to declare our rating bar. So as you can see here, under our set content view, right after the semicolon, but before the bracket, we said final rating bar, named our rating bar, is equal to the rating bar that we find in the layout here. Next, we're going to add a button. This button we're going to call the submit button, and we're going to find which submit button we're talking about by using find by ID and going back to this file here. Next, we're gonna go and declare find our text view. We're gonna call it rating display text view and finding the text view that we are using in the previous activity here. Next, we're gonna set an on click listener so that whenever the button is clicked, I will know about it. So it's submit button dot set on click listener new view dot on click listener. And then that should auto complete for you to add override public void on click view. Then inside of that method, we're going to set the text of our newly defined text view to your rating is plus the value of the rating bar that we have up here. Right below that, we're going to close it off with one bracket to close off the onClick method. Then another bracket to close off the onClick listener, or I'm sorry, the, uh, me the whole method. Then we'll do one for the onClick listener, and then we're all done. So now that when your app is running, we can see that everything works just fine. If it didn't work fine or you missed something or have a question, feel free to contact me below in the comments or email me or go to my website, whatever you got to do. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.